So now we are set. We have our health and magic ready to go. We um, have saved. So let's go into the next boss level here. I think the boss level music is very, very entertaining. The before the boss is defeated. Okay. Let's save our before. Level 15. Again, Eric Spear on the music does very, very well. Now, um, just like the Manitraki Warrior, I think I didn't show it effectively with him. Uh, when I try to shoot, I just get a puff of smoke. These these characters are susceptible to things being dropped from overhead, so it's going to be a similar theme to that. So here's the wizard. Um, oh yeah, see, nothing happens. It, it just fades away. Now he uh, shoots these fireballs at us, but he also will cast these rocks. When these rocks appear, you have a certain amount of time to get out from under them before they'll fall, and you want to get them over his head. So just like with the warrior, we were trying to roll stones on his head, this time we're trying to get them to drop. We're trying to get his own spell to drop on his head, and that's how we hurt him. So it's just a matter of jump jumping from platform to platform and doing that. And you can use your shield to block his fireballs if need be. Oops. If you find yourself in a bad spot. But yeah, you really can't use spells against these guys. You just have to drop things on them. This one is a bit harder. The warrior, you could just roll them over whenever he was nearby. But they're both kind of different strategies. I don't know why Frazzle's bored. I would think he'd be entertained by this. In the regard that they're both so different, this one can be easier in some ways. Oh yeah, sometimes this happens. If you don't move out of the way, they'll stack on top of each other. Which means you can do twice the damage if you can get it to fall on him, but it's really hard to do. Oh, okay. I did not want to get hit by our fireballs. As far as I can tell, it's pretty random how frequently he does fireballs and the rocks. Notice he's blinking faster now, so that means he's much more hurt. Probably needs a couple more hits, actually. Boy, he's really not interested in attacking me right now, I guess. Oh, there we go. So I can show you what it looks like to guard. You just put your shield down, like that. But yeah, he. If I have my shield, he can't hurt me. And if I have, if he, uh, <clears throat> if I try to shoot him with a spell, I can't hurt him. So I expect he only has about one hit left. There we go. Alright, so he's defeated now. We have a free screen we can move around. The music changes. So we get more health again. We're almost maxed out on the health. Another red Zycron. And now look at the shield down here. Our shield is going to be upgraded. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm actually pressing the wrong button. Okay, our shield has been replaced with now a magic shield. I actually don't know the difference between the two. As far as I can tell, the shield can protect against everything the magic shield could. I have I've not really found a case where they are different. But um, there's a distinction, I guess. Maybe in some later level there's something the magic shield reflects that the shield doesn't. 
Anyways, that is the uh, Manitraki Wizard. Kind of an interesting villain to fight. Um, I mentioned earlier the Tree Trunk spell can kind of be used to explore bits of levels that you can't otherwise reach. And I think I'll show you as long as we're here. This level's a good example. We can kind of use the Tree Trunk exploit to uh, climb up these walls. So, again, if you fire really fast and then you just run into it, you can get it to a stage where you can jump on top. Well, you have to get on top. Okay, I have to get a little bit higher than that. I think initially there was probably some intent to put something up on this higher part of the level, but it never actually happened. There we go. So it's just kind of empty up here. Uh, I don't know, probably could have been something if they wanted it to be. But uh, they didn't end up putting anything there. I'll show the other side really fast, just for fun. Oops, it's not gonna, it's gonna be too slow. This is a pretty tall tree trunk uh, to climb, so it starts to vanish pretty fast. There you go. This would have been, would have been a good place to have a, a mind uh, something, something or other. Now there's nothing up there. Okay. Let's save our game here. Should be that. So that finishes the Manitraki Wizard, and that finishes the entire Eastern Path. We have been up into the mountains in this castle here. We have been down into the ice caverns. Uh, I think initially there was going to be a boss in the ice levels, but they decided to remove that. And uh, we've been through the main caverns of the game. So really the only thing left, we killed the Goblin Chief, the only thing left is um, the desert and fire, and then up in the upper left there are the Manitraki Mountains, the realm that the game ends in.